hello guys welcome once more to another video in our youtube channel so in this video we are going to be looking at the west regional mock examination of 2024 specifically physics paper 2 we are going to be solving one of the equations that came there and it was basically on the application of the conservation of linear momentum so the equation reads figure 2 below shows a rocket of mass 1.3 times 10 to the power 4 kilograms moving horizontally along ab with a velocity of 100 meters per second it explodes at b into two parts as shown below one part of the mass 5 0.0 times 10 to the power 3 kilograms most with a velocity of 120 meters per second at 60 degrees to the ori to the original path the remaining part moves with a velocity v at an angle theta to the original path here is a diagram we have two questions the first question define oblique impact and the second question calculate the values of v and theta so i would like you to define oblique impact for me in the comment section i'll be very glad to look at your definition so let's go directly to the second part which is asking us to calculate the values of v and theta okay so um according to the equation we have a rocket that was moving with an with, with an initial velocity of 100 meters per second along ab when it arrives b it now explodes and then is separated into two parts we have the first part that moves with the velocity of 120 meters per second at an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal that's the original part and we have the second part that moves with that with the velocity of v at an angle of theta with the original part so we can say that the mass of the original rocket is m when it explodes it now produces two parts whose masses are m1 and m2 respectively okay now we are going to resolve the horizontal and we are going to resolve the velocity of the part in the vertical and in the horizontal direction so if i begin with 120 it has a horizontal component and it has a vertical component now it makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal that is the original part it therefore means that the horizontal component is 120 cos 60 and the vertical component is 120 sin 60. now coming here we have this v here also has a horizontal and a vertical component where the angle made by the v with the horizontal is theta so the horizontal component is v cos theta while the vertical component is v sin theta now um, we are going to apply the principle of conservation of linear momentum to both axes both the x axis and the y axis so let us attribute signs to the directions of our velocity so when you're moving along along ab it means you're moving along the x direction if you're moving to the right then you're moving along the positive x direction so all velocities pointing in this direction will be attributed a positive sign now all velocities pointing in the upward direction will be attributed a positive sign and all velocities pointing in the downward direction will be attributed a negative sign so this is our reference frame for the velocity now the conservation of momentum is basically what you are going to be applying here and noting that momentum is conserved in both the x and in the y directions so if we take conservation of momentum along ab that is along the x direction then we have that the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum momentum being mass times velocity the initial momentum will just be the mass of the rocket times its initial velocity which is which is 100 meters per second the final momentum is the sum of the momentums of the two parts so the momentum of the first part is m1 times its own velocity in that direction while the momentum of the second part is m2 times its velocity in that direction so it therefore means that we have m ux this ux is the initial velocity of the rocket in the horizontal direction equal to m1 times 120 cos 60 because 120 cos 60 is the horizontal component in fact is the velocity of the part whose mass is m1 in the direction of ab now plus m2 times v cos theta for the same explanation as m1 times 120 cos 60 so from here you realize that cos cos 60 is half half times 120 is 60 so we have m ux to be equal to 60 m1 plus what is m2 
m2 is m minus m1 because there is a conservation of mass we see that m1 will separate into m1 m will separate into m1 and m2 it therefore means that when you sum m1 to m2 you get m so how do i get m2 i take m minus m1 now what is m1 our m1 is 5.0 times 10 to the power 3 kilograms which is 5000 kilograms what about m our m is the mass of the rocket which is 1.3 times 10 to the power 4 kilograms which is 13,000 kilograms so m2 will be 13,000 minus 5,000 kilograms which will give us 8,000 kilograms so we just have to replace and we have here m is 13,000 ux is 100 equal to 60 times m1 5,000 plus m minus m1 which is m2 8,000 times v cos theta if i divide all three by 1000 i'm going to have 13 times 100 equal to 60 times 5 plus 8v cos theta now 13 times 100 is 1300 60 times 5 is 300 1300 minus 300 is 1000 equal to 8v cos theta so the first equation is v cos theta equal to 1000 divided by 8 we can call that equation one now we also need to apply the conservation of momentum along the y-axis now we still have that the initial momentum along the y-axis is equal to the final momentum along the y-axis now the initial momentum along the y-axis is the mass of the rocket times its velocity in the y-axis equal to now the final momentum of the first the final momentum is the momentum of of the first part plus the momentum of the second part along the y-axis the momentum of the first part along the y-axis is the mass times its velocity along the y-axis since its vertical component is pointing upward then it is going to be positive because according to our reference frame it is positive now when we go to the momentum of the second part its mass is m2 and its velocity its vertical component is pointing downwards right so it therefore means that it's it's this component will be attributed a negative sign because according to the reference frame all velocities pointing downwards are attributed negative signs to them so what is ui our ui is zero because initially the rocket was moving along ab which is along the x direction so there was no component of the velocity in the y direction so we just have zero to be equal to m1 times 120 sine 60 minus m2v sine theta now you realize that we just have m2 v sine theta to be equal to m1 sine 60 is root 3 over 2 when you, when you take 120 on the 2 you get 60 and then the root 3 multiplies so v sine theta you, you can divide both sides by m2 knowing fully well that m1 over m2 is the same as 5000 on 8000 which is 5 over 8 the 5 multiplies with the 60 to give us 300 so it means that our v sine theta will be 300 root 8 root 3 divided by 8 so we have two equations and we need to solve for the values of v and theta so if i take equation 2 divided by equation 1 v will cancel sine theta on cos theta is tan theta and then when we when i take 300 root 3 on 8 divided by 1000 on 8 i will simplify to 3 root 3 divided by 10 and with this i will need to take tan inverse on both sides then i approximate so my theta will be approximately equal to 27.5 degrees now i'm going to replace this theta in any of the two equations so I, I prefer to replace in the first equation then i find the value of v so i will divide both sides by cos theta and the theta is 27.5 so we have 1000 divided by 8 cos 27.5 and your v will approximate to 141.0 meters per second so we are we, we have completed the equation if you have any question make sure you indicate in the comment section and don't forget to define oblique impact in the comment section see you guys in the next video and stay blessed